I'm on TV. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, um, everybody, this is Ryan. I'm Plays on in TV. Story of the Year, and he's on TV. I'm on TV. Hi, I'm Ryan from Story of the Year. Okay, and uh, we're gonna do an interview. Let's do it. So uh, should be fun. Uh, first, I have to ask. Um, I read that your all's original band name was 67 North. Is that right? <laughs> And uh, what happened with that? Why'd you bail on 67 North? That was so much long. It's that's. <laughs> Is that like that high school like days? High, that was like middle school, high school. Like oh. Real long. Like that doesn't mean anything. That's just old. That's oh, just okay. Like, we were all kids. Like our first band. You know? Oh. What What did 67 North mean? <sighs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Is it like a long story or something? No, it's just. It just doesn't apply to anything we're doing oh, these days. Oh, okay. It's just old kids, sure. kids shit. You know? Out of curiosity, you know. Hey, it's all good. Um, all right, and I also read that you all really like beer. So what are your uh, favorite kind of beers to drink? Oh, hmm. Uh, I like the dark stuff. Mm hmm I like Guinness and, uh, you know, I like stouts. Have you ever heard that Guinness was brewed with um, dead rats? Uh, <laughs> never heard that one. I swear, <laughs> it's true. No, so they say today that they think they still um, brew it with meat because it's a story. No, there, there's some, there's some shit in there. Uh, uh, what the fuck's in there? There's some shit in there that's not like vegan or anything like that. But I don't, it's not Are you rats. vegan? No. Oh. Okay. It's, it's not rats, though. Right. It's just a rumor or an urban yeah. legend. No, it's. Like good. I wouldn't even care because I love it. <laughs> All right. So um. Can you tell me the difference? Because y'all are working on a new album, right? Uh, we just finished it. Oh, you just finished it? All right. Well, um, what's the di the biggest difference between that album and your first album, Page Avenue? Actually, in a weird kind of way, this album is most similar to our first album. Mm -hmm. This is our fourth album, and out of uh, out of um, album number two, three, and four, mm -hmm. this one is actually the most kind of similar to our first album. Uh, the songs are just a little bit more simpler, and the lyrics have shied away from, it's not as political, it's more like personal and a little more artsy. You know? Did you mean to do that or did you just, that's just well, what ha that, ended up? That's just what happened, like, uh, I don't, Dan was the lyric writer. Mm -hmm. So it's all his fault. <laughs> no, he just, um, I don't know, it was just the easiest record we've ever written. Everything mm -hmm. just went really easy and uh, it was just a really painless, easy record to write for whatever reason. and. We just concentrated on just writing good songs, and uh, just we just wanted to, you know, capture what came natural to us on tape, and uh, it's just a really natural record, you know. Well, awesome! I can't wait to hear. Have you released the one song right off of it, or? Yeah, that's not the first single or anything. That's just a, um, I don't know. We just thought it was a cool song. So <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Do you all um, still have some beef with Godsmack, or is that? Oh, man. No. I don't even care. Okay, they suck anyway, right? Well, I, I dude, I don't, <laughs> I don't spend, I don't want to spend more than, not even one second of my day thinking about Godsmack. Okay. So I, don't really, I don't really care. <laughs> Just curious. Um, all right. Well, on a different note, if you could punch anybody in the face in the whole world, who would it be? Shit. Punch anyone in the face. I don't know. I'm trying to be a peaceful dude these days, you know? I'm trying to... Overrated. I'm trying to be a happy, just peaceful guy, you know? Let me so think, no though. punching? Okay, we'll come back to There's it. There's not anybody I really hate, you know? Mm -hmm. We gotta... I don't know. You don't have to hate someone to punch them. Right? <laughs> I don't know. I'll, okay, here's here's my answer. Okay. If I'm in a bar mm -hmm. or a club, or it's just nighttime out, or even like an airport, people that wear sunglasses inside a bar or inside a club or something, I want to punch you in the face. Yes. I want to punch you in the face. I want to punch you in the face. Because they wear their sunglasses, I'm sure. In a bar. <laughs> Our club with sunglasses on. Right. That's who I want to punch in the face. That's yeah, like that probably, is very annoying. That's like millions of people that I want to punch. <laughs> Not enough God. punching power in the world. 
Um, all right, well, did you ever think that you would be in a band that people, like, got tattoos of? Because I've seen a lot of Story of the Year tattoos. So, I mean, did you ever think that you would be at that level? Um, at the risk of sounding cocky or arrogant, I hope I don't come off like that. I just always knew that it's like music was the one thing that I was like, I'm going to do this. I have no backup plan, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to make it happen. So, like, I always thought I'd be in a band, and I always thought, like, that's what I would do, but mm -hmm. I never really thought about, like, anything else besides just that I love making music and I love hanging out with my friends, you know. I never really thought about money or tour buses or tattoos or, you know, people with our band mm -hmm. tattoos and stuff. I didn't care about that stuff. I just wanted to play my guitar every night, you know. Right. So, yeah, it's pretty fucking awesome and very uh, gratifying and just awesome, you know, that, that you can sit here, I can play my guitar <laughs> and write a song and, like, you know, it affects somebody enough that they, like, put it on their their flesh, you know? It's like, that's... Right. That, well, that's a big that's deal. Awesome. Dude, it's awesome, like, th that you can affect people's lives like that, like, that's awesome, you know? Yes. Um, so what do you think you'd be doing if you weren't playing music? Do you think you'd be like still in, in the music industry somehow or just... No, fuck no. No? <laughs> Hell no, dude. When I'm done playing the guitar, I'm going to run as far as I can from this business, dude. This business sucks. It is brutal. It sucks. It's... I mean, not only just like the... Yeah, I, I just don't... I want to play my guitar and when I'm done playing my guitar, I'm done with this shit. I'm going to be a regular dude. Mm-hmm. You, know? you are a regular dude. I mean, I'm. I mean, like, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna worry about like, work at the quickie mart. I'll do whatever makes me happy. I'm not right. like a. If I if it made me happy working in the quickie mart, I would work at the quickie mart. and I wouldn't give a shit. Right. Why? Well, I, I just think that people nowadays stress out too much about like careers and this and this when they should just like live. And as long as they can like live, I think it should be well, fine. Like, dude, these days with like how fast everything is with technology and like people's attention spans and just like people have like an eight second attention span and I, I don't know it's just like people these days are so caught up and like like you see all these people just get so caught up and wanting to be a celebrity and wanting to be famous and mm -hmm. wanting to be this or that blah blah and then when their career is over it doesn't work out it's like their whole life is ruined you know Mm -hmm. I just think that is so sad. I think that's like the saddest thing in the world. It is. Know? I think I blame reality TV. That has a lot. Of, I mean, there's there's a lot of things that have to do with that, but mm -hmm. I just think that like if you don't love what you're doing for the right reasons, if you're not doing what you're doing for the right reasons, it's kind of a recipe for a self disaster, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I just I like to play my guitar and travel the world with my friends, and when it's done, I'm not gonna try to like. <laughs> you know, I don't know, I don't give a shit about the celebrity and the money and all that shit, you know? Right. Well, um, okay. What do you value more, um, the album sales or, like, concert ticket sales? Concert tickets. You can't, well, these days you can't even judge, like, albums, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, well, yeah, because the industry's different. And yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, like, if, if, to me, like, if we can, like, as long as we can, like, play shows and people will come, I'm happy, you know? Like, mm -hmm. I'll, what do album sales mean these days, you know? There's no radio, there's no MTV, there's no, I mean, dude, who knows in five years if there's even going to be CDs anymore, you know? Right. Who knows if bands will even make albums anymore, it might just go just to, you know? Well, you know it's bad when blank CDs outsell, like, music CDs, and I heard that that happened in, like, 05 or something, so. Yeah, Brutal. it's just, it's a weird time to, to like... Well, especially like making your living, like doing what we do, it's like it's a really odd time because mm -hmm. no one pays for your mu music anymore, you know? Right. And like the touring industry with like the recession and the economy, like being how it is, like people don't have money to go see, you know, as many shows as they used to be able to, you know? Labels don't have the money to promote you anymore. It's just a really weird time to like be in a band that's not mm -hmm. huge but not small, you know? But you're doing good, so. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we're not, for, I mean, <laughs> we're not like, uh... Okay, but so we do need to keep this at 10 minutes, so... Oh, that's fine with me. That is all.